thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomist coming at you with another video review. And first, I want to apologize. My voice might sound a little off. Um, I'm just getting over being sick. Today's the first day that I've actually felt like moving anywhere. So I thought I would do this review, try to get it done <laughs> while I have this small, very small window of I'm not coughing so much. But as you can see, in front of you, we have Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class bludgeon now bludgeon is not yet released he comes out in about november or december but uh I, I absolutely love this figure and i'm very happy to be able to show him to you and get your guys's impressions and all that fantastic stuff so as you can see bludgeon is a tank now unlike other people who are pretty stupid uh he is not an abrams tank in the generation one now generation one Bludgeon was a pretender. Now, if you don't know what a pretender is, it's a little tiny robot that fit into a big shell that looked like a human. And and Bludgeon, his tank mode in that, yes, was an Abrams tank. This one is clearly not. This one is actually a Type 90 Japanese tank. And it goes a lot along a lot better with his samurai robot mode, I guess. This is an homage to the G1 in both robot mode, the tank aspect, and in robot mode, he looks like a, a samurai warrior, So, which is what his sh human shell component was in the Generation 1 Pretender. So, really nice tank. He comes with just these wheels. Now, on here, the front section right here is rubber. These sections are rubber. The middle sections are plastic, but he rolls fairly well really nice full rotation of the gun turret fairly nice you got the missile launcher aspect up here this little guy will rotate as well and yeah this does look a little warped uh, mine's a little bit straighter than most but pretty nice I really like I mean the detail on here is really sharp I really like the way it looks it's a gorgeous looking tank that's all there is to it. Kind of makes me aggravated that they were able to do such a nice tank with this guy, and yet the Galvatron figure was a total hideous mess. So, overall, to transform him, it's actually really simple. First, what you want to do, just kind of remove this gun, just get it, or this sword, and you pull it out, and it's a samurai sword. I'll set this off to the side. I'll talk to you about, about that later on. Come around here to the bottom. Right up in here, they just kind of tab in, just release those. Just like so. Pull all of them out. Now you can take them and tuck them under if you so desire. So you get them like this and tuck them under. I, I actually feel that these ones here are better to be tucked under than these ones. And I'll show you why here in a minute. Come around here to the top. I'll usually move this off to the side just to get this kind of out of the way. But at this point you want to separate here. Kind of wiggle and get it separated right along the side here kind of pull on this and you're going to rotate these down it's in there nice and tight rotate that down like so kind of flip this up just so you can see what's going on now the legs actually believe it or not are a little tricky to to try to maneuver around lift this little back section up and then you can fold these around like so Fold these sections back, bring the legs in, and when you fold them back, you'll be able to tuck them in like so. And they kind of peg in there. So again on this side, you're going to keep this rotated all the way down, rotate these back. You gotta get this back behind here, fold this in, and that will tab in there fairly nicely. And now see, so keep these little things tucked up under there, and they hide them fairly well. Then, rotate the wheel so that the orange part is in the front. Come around here to the back. This little section will fold down. Then you fold this out, and here's this foot. You just rotate that little gizmo out. Put that back down. I usually leave that down. Um, I don't actually know if the instructions say to or not, because I kind of skipped that part. <laughs> so rotate that down, like so. Fold out the feet, fold that down, and you have his legs now 
the way they're supposed to be. Fold this little section down, you can take this, rotate it down, and his head pops out. Take these, fold these out, fold them all the way down, rotate, well, right up in here, just pull these little bits out, then rotate that down, plug that down, pull these out, fold this bit down, rotate that down, his hands are inside here, so just fold those out. Now you want to make sure that you clip the crotch piece. I know that sounded weird, but you want to clip this. There you go, push that in so that locks that into place. Fold that down a little bit more. These, and see this is where I like actually leaving these out because it looks like it adds armor to his side arms or whatever. So I'll leave those, fold that out for now and turn fold this little bit back down rotate that around and there you have bludgeon in his robot mode this this is absolutely a gorgeous figure i i really like the way he looks the homage is noticeable in the fact that he does look like a samurai warrior but his skull face leaves a little bit to be desired it, it's not as skull -rific. As we were led to believe it's it's nice looking it's not too terribly bad but overall I, I think they could have did a little bit better of a job in terms of trying to capture a skull look to him here's his sword now this is a little bit of a pain but you get him to hold it in there and it's actually really tough because his fingers aren't perfectly lined up for it but there you go holding his sword now here's one added thing on the back, if you take the top section and separate it, you get some nice Mecha Live stuff going on in there. You see the movements of things. Um, only one, pro and it reveals a hidden sheath for his small dagger. I lost this small dagger. I don't know where it is. Um, it would normally fit inside there. So <laughs> don't lose things is the moral of the story. Uh, but overall, though, as I said, really nice looking figure. He doesn't really fit in the movie line aesthetic though he he doesn't have that same feel so i'll more than likely display him with my classic figures and i think it'll hold up much nicer in terms of articulation his head will kind of do the you know the right to left type of thing it won't go all the way around but that's good because i hate when things go all the way around shoulders kind of get hindered so that's good in and out bend at two points at the elbow kind of bend at the wrist Legs are back and forth. A little bit hindrance by all the, like you get the front, woo, look at there. You know, you get all the, the junk here, so it kind of hinders it a little bit. Rotates and there's a little, if you want to call that mech alive. Ratchet at the knees, some pivot here at the foot, not not too much. But overall, this is, this is a glorious figure. I'm using the word glorious because I'm told I use gorgeous too much. So as you can see, Beautiful looking figure. I really like the way the orange and the green work on this. I think it's really sharp looking. And if you want, you can take the gun or the sword and you can slide it right through here. And he's got a little holster sheath, whatever you want to call it, for him. But there's also another one here. There's one here and there's one here. So I don't know whichever one you want to use. I'll use that top one because it seems to be clearing a little bit better. And you can have him storing his sword in his robot mode. So, gorgeous looking figure. I highly recommend picking this up. As I said, he comes out November, December-ish. So when you see him in stores, definitely pick this thing up. He, he's a great homage figure, and I'm really happy that they made him. He is the second bludgeon that we've gotten in the Revenge of the Fallen line. The first, uh, it's not too long ago, it was a repaint of somebody else. I can't remember who, but... Overall, gorgeous looking figure. I absolutely love the way he looks. Pick him up. Now, to transform him back, simple. Pull this guy out. Rotate these arms up. Lift that up. Lift that up. Take the hands, tuck the hands away. You rotate these around and they peg together nicely right upstairs. Like upstairs? Wow, maybe I am not, not feeling too well. So here we go again, rotate that in, and that'll peg together like so. Then just rotate these up, and they peg together right there. 
fold these little things out like so. Pretty nice. Now, for his legs, you need to detach. It's kind of tough. you got to get his head to pull down. There you go. Give it a nice good tug, and you'll pull his head down. Lift this up. Just get this out of the way. Rotate this. Again, kind of rotate this so that you can lift this back piece up just to give you a little bit more room. Rotate. Spin this bit around, and you're going to rotate all of this junk. Bring these, bring these around towards the front. Both sides. There we are. Rotate them back so they're like so. Rotate the tanks. Little jobby duber. So now it's like so. Oh, forgot you want to tuck the feet away. Follow that, follow that, perfect. Lift. Follow that, there we go. Kind of line that up along the side there. Okay, now you can just bring this around, fold this bit down, get this out of the way. You're going to slide this bit up along the side. Slide this bit up along the side here as well. It's a little tough. And you just wiggle it a little bit and you'll get it in there. There we are. Bring this bit down. And you want to tap these together. Rotate the tank tread back around. Fold these and they just peg right in here. Oh, I don't have that all the way in. There we go. Pop that in. Pop that in, rotate that up, pop that in, and pop that in as well. Take this guy, slide it right back in. Underneath these hot lights, it's getting these pieces really soft, so I have to be careful. Plug that in like so. And there you have Bludgeon back in his beautiful tank mode. I, I really, like I said, I can't recommend this figure enough. November, December, when he's out in stores, pick him up. Ask for him for Christmas. Whatever you have to do to get this guy. It's a fantastic Transformer. Great G1 homage. And this has been Optobotomous with another Transformers Revenge of the Fallen video review. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>